I did not used to be very brave. In fact, I wasn't very brave at all. But you have made me brave, little monsters. So now, I'm going to be brave for you. Tonight, I want you to free yourself. I want you to let go of all of your insecurities. I want you to reject anyone or anything that's ever made you feel like you don't belong or you don't fit in or you're not good enough or thin enough or pretty enough or you can't sing well enough or dance well enough or play good enough or write a good song well enough. You just remember that you're a superstar and you were born this way. And tonight, when you leave this beautiful arena, I want you to love loving yourself more. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, look at you in your jacket. You look like James Dean. Maybe Morrissey, but you look better than your best <laughs> Look at you, and there's bad romance masking. There you go. Oh, and there's a crown, bad romance crown. Hello. Oh, a telephone t shirt. And I see a nice yellow wig and a pink. That's your real hair, though. That's fabulous. Your pink hair is fabulous. Yeah! Okay, you have the best hair of all time. If you listen to Mello, you must listen to some other metal. Maybe some death metal, black metal, anyone? <laughs> you guys look so, look at your outfit. Like your hair is fat. Is that a hair bow in your bangs? Yeah! And all the way over here, I feel like I'm not being fair, really, because there's a whole bunch of people. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You see, I told my friends all about the Monster Ball. I told them that the Monster Ball would set them free. So we got into my car, but my car broke down. So then I took them on the subway, which always gets me where I need to go. But the subway has left us off in this very strange place. And I just have no fucking clue where we are. Should I ask my friends for some help? You know, my deepest and most loyal friends. You know, all my Oslo gay boys.